When he discovers that his dog was forgotten at the airport along with a cat who is popular on social media, a jewelry thief and influencer must team up to recover their pets while running from the police. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Cat and Dog, from 2024. After committing a jewelry store robbery, Jack escapes through the sewer with a ruby stone and rips off his disguise so that no one will recognize him. When he opens the manhole cover to return to the surface, on the other side of the city, he comes across a dog and the animal starts barking. This is just a way for the dog to get the human to play, but Jack tries to get him to keep quiet so as not to attract the attention of the police. Suddenly, a policeman hears the barking and decides to go downstairs to investigate. At that moment, the dog runs happily towards him, but Lieutenant Brandt kicks the dog away and walks cautiously to check what is hidden behind the garbage can. When he senses the policeman approaching, Jack gets up and attacks him. When he realizes that his adversary is armed, the man tries to escape and climbs the next building. When he spots a window, he breaks into the apartment and, during the duel, the two guys end up injuring the elderly couple who live there. On finding a pair of scissors, Brandt decides to throw them at the thief, but Jack fights back and throws a barber's pole at his head. At that moment, the policeman looks in the mirror and is furious when he realizes that part of his head has been shaved. He immediately grabs Jack by the collar of his coat and hangs him out of the window. As he does so, the ruby that was in his pocket falls to the ground and they both climb down to try and retrieve it. After knocking Brandt into the sewer, the thief sees the dog swallowing the precious stone and decides to take it. When he sees the criminal taking a cab to get away, the lieutenant memorizes the license plate and calls the base with the intention of tracking the vehicle. The next morning, Diva, an extremely famous cat, arrives at Montreal airport with her guardian and attracts the attention of several fans. Meanwhile, a few meters away, Jack puts a diaper on the dog to make sure he can get the ruby back in a few hours. The pair are then walking through the airport when the thief spots Brandt and pretends to be blind to get into the priority queue. Just then, Chi Chi smells Diva and runs towards her. After being frightened, the cat starts to attack him, but Jack pulls the dog away and manages to get on the plane. Just like Chi Chi, Diva is forced into a cage in the cargo compartment, despite Monica's best efforts to convince the attendant to allow her cat to stay with her on the plane. Heartbroken, Monica makes her way to the plane without her best friend, as animals are not allowed on the plane. Coincidentally, the woman is sitting next to Jack, who, like her, is on his way to New York. When she gets there, Monica will sign a new contract on Diva's behalf with Petstar, the world's largest agency for animal influencers. What the woman doesn't realize is that her cat refuses to travel in the cargo compartment and knocks her cage off the trolley. At that moment, Chi Chi's cage also falls to the ground and none of the employees miss them. When the plane takes off, the two animals come flying out of the window and, on seeing her cat, Monica despairs. Immediately, she gets up from her seat and is followed by Jack, so they both get off the plane through the emergency exit and end up being arrested. Meanwhile, the two pets remain at the airport and Diva despairs when she sees that the plane has taken off without her. Hoping to find her guardian again, the cat asks Chi Chi for help to get to New York and the dog says he will help her. When Brandt arrives at the police station and goes to look at the cell, he realizes that Jack and Monica have managed to escape and sends the police after them. Meanwhile, Monica tracks Diva's location using a tracking chip connected to her cell phone and discovers that she has left her cage. What the woman doesn't realize is that her cat and Chi Chi are being chased by an eagle, but they manage to escape by entering one of the sewage pipes. The pair then slide down the pipe until they reach the other side and both end up being electrocuted, but manage to survive. Unlike other cats, Diva hasn't learned to use her senses and natural instincts. That's why she can barely manage on her own. Knowing this, Monica rushes to get her cat back and drives a customized van to reach her. After a few hours of walking, the pets arrive at their final destination and Diva is furious when she discovers that the New York the dog was referring to is actually a store. Disgruntled, the cat decides to follow her own plan and goes to talk to some girls who are playing inside a school, because she knows that all the children love her. While following her cat's steps via GPS, Monica is stopped by the police and, as she doesn't have a license, decides to flee. After helping Jack get rid of Lieutenant Brandt, she drives away and the policeman logs onto his social networks to find out who that woman is. When she spots a girl wearing cat socks, Diva decides to approach her in the hope that the young woman will help her find Monica. However, the cat realizes that her plan hasn't worked as she had hoped when one of the girls tries to capture her. Seeing his friend in trouble, Chi Chi rushes to her aid and, soon after, Jack and Monica show up. When she realizes that the GPS is indicating that her cat is inside the school, the woman tries to get the nun's attention, but is completely ignored. So she decides to destroy the electric fence system in order to jump the gate, 
but discovers that the lock is open. When they encounter the intruders, the nuns threaten to call the police, but Jack uses his charm to distract them. After asking for the woman's blessing, Jack says he can see again and Monica feels confused. However, thanks to this act, he manages to throw off the nuns so that his partner can continue the search. While hiding on the terrace, Diva ends up being captured by the delinquent who plans to rob her, but manages to escape and jumps off the building. Trying to hold her, the girl ends up ripping off the cat's collar and Diva leaves so that the girl can't reach her. When she follows the signal emitted by the collar, Monica finds the teenager who tried to capture her cat and asks if she has seen Diva walking around the school. However, in exchange for the information, the girl asks for the ring that belonged to Monica's mother as payment and reveals that both Diva and the dog that accompanied her were taken away by the garbage truck. Immediately, the pair run back to the van and, when it starts, Monica accidentally drags out a chemical toilet that is being used by one of the nuns. In the middle of the road, while making a turn, Monica manages to free herself from the cab and the nun is abandoned in the middle of the road. After the couple leave, the delinquent opens the wastebasket where Chi Chi and Diva were being held and puts the cat into her backpack. While Chi Chi is trying to get out of the garbage can, she gets on a school bus with her cat. As soon as he manages to free himself, the dog runs towards the vehicle and manages to catch up. Just then, the bus passes a police car and Lieutenant Brandt spots the animal, so he doesn't think twice before deciding to go after it to get the ruby. During the journey, the criminal puts makeup on Diva while her schoolmates start filming her and opening a live stream on social media. Seeing Diva trapped with those troublesome teenagers, Monica turns around. The cat is about to lose her whiskers when Brandt surrounds the bus and Diva has the chance to escape through the window. Immediately, Chi Chi says that they need to get away, as he sees the policeman looking at him and realizes that he is in danger. At that moment, Brandt rips the wheel rim off his car and throws it towards the animals. However, a truck passes just in time and, after hitting the cargo compartment, the object returns and rips another strand of hair from the policeman's head. Brandt quickly puts his cab back on and opens the trunk of the car. Seeing the gagged policeman, he realizes that he forgot his prisoner in there. The truth is that Brandt is not a lieutenant, but a thief who carried out the entire jewelry robbery single-handedly. Jack, who is a very famous thief known as the Cat, arrived shortly after him and, to his surprise, realized that all the work had already been done. At that moment, the Cat triggered the jewelry store's fire alarm and attacked Brandt to steal the stone. After taking the ruby, Jack handcuffed his competitor and fled. Minutes later, a policeman appeared and Brandt used a pistol to force him to hand over his uniform. In this way, the man managed to disguise himself as a member of the police force and has since kept the real lieutenant trapped inside the trunk. After grabbing a rifle, Brandt goes after the pets and manages to find them. However, just as he's about to shoot, a pickup truck passes between them and the thief ends up losing sight of his targets once again, as the pair hitch a ride in the back of the vehicle. As she is driving at high speed with the aim of catching up with the school bus, Monica attracts the attention of a traffic warden and ends up being followed by him. As he approaches the van, the man orders the driver to pull over, but instead of doing so, Monica speeds up even more. Meanwhile, Brandt uses a road sign to ski through the snow and reach the truck. After getting into the wagon, he sees the animals jumping out in an attempt to escape and goes after them. However, during the jump, Brandt runs into a tree and is thrown into the middle of the forest at high speed. While running away from the traffic warden, Monica ended up dropping her cell phone out of the window and now it's not working. Desperate, she begins to cry and returns to the van, because she knows that she will now have to find her cat without the help of the GPS. At that moment, Diva and Chi Chi are in the middle of the forest walking through the snow and spot migratory birds in the sky. The cat believes that if she follows those birds, the pair will soon arrive in New York, but neither of the pets realizes that they are being followed. While driving, Monica finds a hotel and decides to rent a room so she can use the bathroom. When she sees the hairdryer, she tries to remove the moisture from her cell phone in the hope of turning it back on. During their journey to follow the migratory birds, the pets come across a frozen lake and Diva manages to walk on it. However, when he steps on the ice, Chi Chi notices that cracks are starting to form, as he is too heavy to walk on the lake. Despite feeling bad about leaving her friend behind, Diva continues walking, because she wants more than anything to find her human. Meanwhile, Chi Chi lies on the floor alone and starts crying when he realizes he's been abandoned. The dog is about to be shot when the film of ice breaks and Diva falls into the water. Determined to save his friend, Chi Chi immediately goes to meet her and runs over the lake to avoid sinking with the ice. Seeing the cat drowning, he dives into the water to reach her. After catching the cat, Chi Chi manages to return to the surface and they both survive the incident. 
As Diva is very tired, the dog has to take her back to dry land and swims across the frozen lake with his companion on his back. After saving the cat's life, Chi Chi turns his back and leaves, as he is very upset to know that she would abandon him. Repentant of her attitude, Diva apologizes and says she will do everything in her power to make the dog forgive her. However, the cat's apology is enough for Chi Chi to decide to forgive her. Just then, the dog smells Brant and realizes that they are being followed. The problem is that it's too late now, because the next moment, Diva is shot and faints. After getting out of the shower, Monica notices that her cell phone is working again and prepares to continue her journey. Looking out of the window, she sees a police car approaching and leaves her shoe under the curtain to distract the guard while she and Jack go out the door. As Diva has a wound on her paw, Chi Chi has to carry her and, when he realizes that he has managed to lose Brant, he looks for a safe place to leave his friend while he goes out to look for food. At this point, the dog meets concierge and the young man realizes that he is lost. In an attempt to help the animal find its guardian, concierge uses a rope to tie its neck and Chi Chi starts barking, attracting Brant's attention. After spending several hours on the road looking for her cat, Monica decides to take a break and Jack reveals that he has something to give her. Suddenly, the thief takes out of his pocket the ring that Monica gave to the girl who tried to rob Diva and the woman is extremely grateful. She wonders how a blind man could have been able to steal the ring without the girl noticing and begins to suspect that Jack is not exactly what he says he is. Just then, Monica receives a call from concierge and the young man reveals that he hasn't found her cat, only Jack's dog. Even though she's happy to have found Chi Chi, the woman starts to cry because she's losing hope that she'll ever find Diva. However, Jack tries to cheer her up and says that the cat shouldn't be too far from where his dog was found. In tears, the woman starts up the van and drives towards the young man's house with the slight expectation that she might find Diva there. Meanwhile, the feline is walking through the forest and calls for her friend, as she is afraid of being alone. The wound on her paw is causing a lot of pain and Diva can't move at speed, so she tries to use her nose to follow the dog's tracks. While licking a post, the cat ends up getting her tongue stuck and is about to be devoured by an eagle when Brant catches the bird and ends up being attacked. Minutes later, Monica receives a message from the man who reveals that he has her cat. To get her back, she has to meet him at the agreed location, so she decides to change her route. Her plan now consists of rescuing her cat and then taking Jack to his dog, since Chi Chi is safe under concierge's care. When he realizes that his cover is about to be blown, the thief says he needs to confess something to Monica, but the woman interrupts him and asks him to get off the van. After stopping the vehicle, Monica goes down to help Jack get to the side of the road, but she ends up being left behind. The thief quickly jumps into the driver's seat and drives to where Chi Chi is. After picking up the dog, he contacts Brant to inform him that he has the stone and orders him to leave Monica and Diva alone. At this point, they arrange a meeting point and then Jack calls Monica, who has just gotten a lift on the road. Furious, the woman threatens to gouge his eyes out and hangs up the phone before Jack has a chance to explain himself. The next day, they both make it to New York. At the same time, Brand arrives at the hotel where he had arranged to meet Jack and, as soon as he gets out of the car, Diva wakes up. The cat is locked inside the police car when she spots her guardian walking down the street. Immediately, the cat tries to pull the handle and opens the car door. At that moment, the policeman who was trapped in the trunk manages to free himself and uses the radio to call for reinforcements. After retrieving the ruby, Jack gets out of the van and asks Chi Chi to stay inside the vehicle and wait for him. However, when he smells Diva, the dog decides to go out to look for her and walks alone through the streets of New York while Jack goes to find Brant. After entering the hotel room, he asks where the cat is and the crook says that Diva is in the car. Once he has the stone in his hands, Brant promises that he will release it, so Jack decides to look out of the window to see if the man is telling the truth. He is then attacked and Brant tries to tighten the noose around his opponent's neck. After knocking him down, Jack escapes through the window and goes in search of Diva. In an attempt to find her guardian in the crowd, the cat uses her claws to climb a tree and learns to use her heightened senses while searching for her. Spotting Monica walking through the amusement park, Diva tries to go down, but ends up slipping and, for the first time in her life, manages to land on her feet. She then runs to meet the woman and almost gets run over, but ends up being saved by Jack, who picks up the cat and hands her over to Monica. After returning the cat to her guardian, the thief is hit by Brand and they both end up on the merry-go-round. Suddenly, the toy starts spinning at high speed and the children end up being thrown out. Seeing the human in trouble, Chi Chi appears and asks for Diva's help to stop the toy. As she can't find the right button to turn off the carousel, Monica uses a hammer to destroy the park's power generator and the lights go out for a few seconds. At this point, 
the toy stops spinning and Jack manages to get out unharmed, unlike Brandt who ends up being arrested. Searching for her friend, Diva finds him collapsed under one of the carousel horses and despairs when she realizes that Chi-Chi isn't breathing. Immediately, Jack and Monica approach to help the dog and then the animal wakes up. From that day on, Jack decides to adopt Chi-Chi and gives the ruby to Monica as a present. The four of them are hiding in the luggage compartment of an airplane when Diva manages to steal the stone and accidentally swallows it. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.